Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Crypeman. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to look at uh, bone influence. Um, and uh, how that's uh, how that affects the, your models. Uh, let's go ahead and make us a vertex object. Let's drop it in here. Go into the vertex room. And we're going to face front. Let's grab a rectangle. And I have I have the grid turned on, so let's uh, uh, just so you know, you're not going to be able to, you're not going to see the triangle or the uh, rectangle being drawn out. And this is good right here. Uh, let's go ahead and select it. Let's give it a face by pushing Command F. That'll fill in the polygon, and that's good. Now let's make a line and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to draw out a shape this is we're going to extrude this out into a shape so oh before we do though let's uh, select this and make this a little less rectangly now let's make a let's make a path to extrude it along did one two three, four, five. And that should be good. Now, uh, select the face and select the face, do our path sweep, mode, button, whatever that is. Uh, select that, it's tap this, tap this, and then tap this and our shape is made. And you notice that when you made your shape, uh, each section is represent is broken up by a vertice. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Now, and that's how that works. Let's uh, get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Seriously, let's get rid of that. Grr. Now let's get rid of this. Silly. And um, we don't really need to do this, but what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fill this too. Select that. Pow, 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 pow. And let's fill that. Command F fills that polygon. And now we're good to go. Select all, zero, and now, now we're ready. Now let's jump out of this, and you notice, remember that there were four um, sections that we that we wanted to uh, make note of. Uh, let's go ahead and hot point the object, with zero, and now what we do is let's go to the right and we're going to start making bones. Now, when you make your bones, you can start your bones here and build it in this direction or build your skeleton in this direction. Um, it really depends on where you put your first bone. We're going to go ahead and put our first bone here and then we're going to go one, there were four sections, two, three, four, and Let's uh, grab this, grab the first bone, slide it over, slide it over more, and there we go. Now, we've done all this before in another tutorial, but um, we're, this is pretty much going to be the same tutorial, and we're going to add a little something to it. Um, let's go ahead and select all these, and then attach skeleton. Select your vertex object and your bone, first bone, which is going to select the other bones. Attach skeleton, and now the skeleton is attached. You can start deforming your model. Just like that. And yeah, your model's deformed. Okay, now, 
uh, let's jump back into our model room and you notice that when you jump back in here it does it this is the same exact shape that we left here now let's go into animation mode and you notice that it's the it is now bent according to the way that you bent your bones now now that we're in here um, I don't know if uh, if the other versions have it I'm pretty sure they don't but weight painting uh, if you have pro uh, if you have Carrera Pro um, it has a weight painting option here um, now if you notice when you click this weight painting is the amount of influence each vertice has on the subsequent vertices like if you uh, your bones are going this way so your the heaviest influence for this first bone would be over here and then it would kind of lighten up over here this this kind of helps decrease the amount of bending in your objects and you notice that there's a um, as you go through here you notice that the influence is represented by the amount of color that's in it let's go ahead and jump out of here and jump back in and now let's go let's look at our bones um, there's no way you can add bones right here uh, it says add bones but you know it, you can't add a bone it doesn't look like oh I just messed it up for everybody right there uh, oh, duh. Uh oh, there we go. Go back in here, do bones, and now you notice that there are there is a list of bones. You can you can remove bones via this thing right here, this little drop down menu. Um, but we're not going to do that. Um, what I am going to show you is you'll notice that. We, with the bones that we put in here down this line uh, you have a list of your bones and there's a percentage at the other end uh, that's the percentage of influence that your bone has each of these bones has on this on the rest of the bones um, bone 4 has 8% influence but if you tweak this a little bit you can tweak the influence 8% is that what it was uh, twenty two percent on this one we ain't gonna mess them up too much but if you go to your first bone you notice how it bends and unbends somebody asked about a uh, carpet rolling up uh, unrolling a carpet this would be a good way to do that would be to uh, bend your bones twirl your twirl them all the way in and then uh, uh, just kind of mess with the bone influence and that should do it I'm thinking uh, I haven't done it but I'm pretty sure that that's the way it would work but uh, yeah that's your bone influence right there and uh, combine that with your weight painting and you have a pretty good way to deform uh, your models via bones so anyway uh, that's pretty much it for this time I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later bye